if you are a video editor you probably heard about this page he is known for creating insane motion graphics and high energy animations their unique style is blowing up nowadays and this is exactly what we will making today So welcome back guys to our brand new series called Edit Like Zero X Hundred X. So in this series we will break down how Zero X Hundred X create these cool animations in their videos. So this is day one. There are many more parts coming soon in this channel. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So before we start creating this animation, let me explain the roadmap of this animation. Firstly, we create this circle-like shape animation. Then we add this mouse cord. This is basically Elon Musk mouse cord made by me, and I am using Photoshop for creating this mouse cord. And don't worry, I also provide you this mouse cord in the pack for completely free. Then we use these icons like uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, and Tesla, and Starlink, PayPal, and many more. So this is basically a rough roadmap of our animation. So let's get into the video. Now, firstly, create a circle shape layer like this and place it at the center. After that go to the fill option and select radial gradient and press ok and again go to the fill option and change the first color slab to black color and press ok. Now an anchor point will appear drag it like this and change your second color slab to a bright green color. Now select your shape layer and go to this layer style and select this inner glow option and go to your inner glow option and then increase the size value like this and then change fill color to white color and also increase the range value so we get a smoother white color also go to the noise and increase the value of noise now select your shape layer and decrease the scale value like this then right click your shape layer and make a pre-compose and add a deep glow adjust the value according to your layer just like right now i am doing now rename your layer to circle one now this time go to your circle layer and copy your shape layer and back to your main composition then paste your shape layer in your main composition. Now this time go to your shape layer and layer style then inner glow and change your fill color to a green color. Kind of like this. Now here we have two circle shapes. And now select your second circle and decrease the scale size. So after this done, firstly I hide my first layer and place my second layer in center. After this select your second layer and go to this pen tool and create a shape like this. Now after this select your second layer and go to the mask option and increase the feather value like this. And you can also adjust the mask according to your choice. Now it will look like this. Now this time duplicate your layer by pressing Ctrl D and select both of your layers and make a pre-compose. Now add a deep glow to your second layer. Like this. So after all of this then we get a half moon kind of circle. Just play with the setting of deep glow like this. Now enable your first layer and scale the value like this and place it right here let's increase the value of deep glow and add a fast box blur now duplicate your second layer and place him behind the first layer like this and also add a fast box blur to this one but this time keep the value of blur is little bit low so now it will look like this and place it to the upper corner now i add my elon musk character which is i made before so as you know before i created this character from scratch in photoshop we are going to use this character so let's adjust our character first then now select your character and go to the layer style and add a bevel and ambrose so go to the bevel and ambrose and increase the softness according to the character for this one i'm also decreasing little bit of size just duplicate your character and select both of your character image and make a pre-compose so for this image i give him a name called elon musk now add a deep glow now 
After this, select this pen tool and create a mask like this. And increase the feather value. Again, duplicate your layer and make a precompose. After all of this done, I'll just add some Elon Musk company's logo and adjust him with the white circle shape by using ellipse tool. Uh, this is very easy process. That's why I speed up this part. So let's enjoy the few minute time slap. Now once you properly make your logos then select both of your layers and make a precomp and bring it to the center. Once you done this add a circle shape and bring it to the center. And disable the fill option and make a stroke like this and move your shape layer to bottom. Once you done this just simply adjust your icon according to your shape layer write exactly what I am doing. And remember keep the icon position equally and make your icon little bit more small. So we get a stunning look because sometimes bigger icon looks weird in animations. Now once you have done this just simply add a deep glow to your precomp layer. And just simply adjust the radius and exposure according to your layer. And then go back to your precomp and decrease the opacity of your circle shape. And then rename all of your layers so we can easily find them. Now create a null layer. And then select all of your layers and parent them to the null layer. And then place all of your layers one by one in sequence. So we can easily animate them. So firstly we create a keyframe on rotation and position. Select both of your keyframes and place him right here. Now simply give a rotation animation in your PayPal layer like this. And then drag your PayPal icon in middle. Now select both of your keyframes and press F9. Then also make a keyframe in opacity. And change the value to 0. Now it's look like this. Once you've done this, go to your PayPal layer and select both of your layer and make a pre-comp. Then press P in your keyboard. Now press this stopwatch icon by holding Alt key. Now simply type here wiggle. This one. And add the value 1, 15. Now what you can see automatically a dancing moment happened with our icon. And a correction here, I remove this rotation animation because it's not look good and it's not perfectly match with our animation. So that's why I remove this. Now after playing with keyframes or animation, it's gonna look like this. This one is completely done. Just we use similar method to our other layers. We simply add the keyframes. And drag him right here. When our PayPal animation is started, we just pause a little bit. And then we animate this Starlink icon. Now in the beginning we again add a opacity keyframe then animate your keyframes like this select all of your layers and press F9 to create a easy ease then go to this graph option and make a graph like this. Now here you can see our animation is not perfectly matched so just simply play with the keyframes like adjusting the keyframe until you get a perfect match. go to your starlink precomp and select both of these layers and make a precomp and just press p and hit this stopwatch icon by pressing alt now just simply go back to your paypal layer and simply copy this prompt and simply paste this in your starlink comp now what you can see animation is also came here and our animation is gonna look like this 
Now this time apply the same method with the remaining layers. Simply animate the position one by one to all of your layer and add the fade in animation by using opacity keyframes. Then simply apply the same prompt in the remaining layers. And now let's enjoy few minute time slap. Now our final animation is look like this. Now select all of your layers and make them to 3D. And change the view option to view 2. And also keep in mind your classic 3D is enabled. Now add a camera layer. And press OK. Then give the keyframe to point of interest and position in your camera layer and then drag your timeline right here and add a zoom by dragging the value of position like this. Select both of your keyframes and press F9. And one more correction is we added a deep glow in our Elon Musk layer so simply remove it because we need to animate our character by using puppet tool so it kind of compulsory to remove this deep glow otherwise it might be create some problems. After this we add this puppet tool in our character joint kind of like this which I am doing right now Once you done this just simply move your timeline little bit further just add a little movement like this which I am doing right now and it will look like this open your keyframes simply select your keyframes and add a easy ease by pressing F9 in your keyboard now simply copy these keyframes and paste it right here and it will look like this and just make sure your animation is not too fast so for avoiding this just maintain the distance between your keyframes Once you satisfied with your animation, just simply select all of your keyframes and simply copy and paste them. Simply change two view to one view. Add a keyframe to position in your Elon Musk layer. Now simply move down your character like this. And select both of your keyframes and add a easy ease. Also give a keyframe to your opacity and animate the keyframe like this. Now select all of your keyframes and go to your flow chart and add a quant present in your layer. And simply drag out your keyframe like this. Now you can add a deep glow and adjust the setting of your deep glow according to your character. And I am also adding drop shadow in our Elon Musk layer. Now simply add a solid layer with black color. And then make two keyframes like this. And your first keyframe is 100% and then move your second keyframe and make the value of opacity is 0. Adjust both of your keyframe according to your layers and select both of your keyframe and, and apply easy ease. Now once you've done this go to your camera layer and add a keyframes and then move your timeline little bit further and add a zoom like this. And adjust your character in the center. Now we just simply copy the net worth of Elon Musk and simply paste it right here. So I am using this font, you can also use this font. I will provide the font in the pack. So just adjust the size according to you. Also trim the unrequired part in your text layer. Now simply change the fill color to green color like this and press OK.
and now add the deep glow in your text layer adjust the value of your deep glow according to your layer so for text animation i am using this preset from mr horse now another connection here as you can see our animation is not perfectly animated uh, it is because of camera layer so don't worry we can fix it just remove this keyframes add another null layer and parent link your camera with your null layer and simply add a position keyframe or scale keyframe in your null layer and simply animate him just we did before and make sure your animation is perfectly matched and perfectly placed in the center just like this so once you've done this select all of your keyframes and apply this flow effect and then it will look like this if you feel the animation is too fast so you can simply drag your keyframes like this and your animation is gonna be smooth simply duplicate your text layer and change your text to net worth once you've done this select your text layer and you can also play with these settings and then change your fill color to white and i also add a second text but sorry i forgot to record this part so now we can add this effect in our text layer and you can find this effect in animation composer by mr horse just select your layer and apply this effect and drag this to little bit forward it will look like this but we need to improve this text little bit more so what we need to do is select the shape layer and create a mask like this and increase the value of feather Now simply play your timeline when your other text is visible then add a trim in your text layer Now simply remove the remaining part then little bit drag your text layer like this and then add a keyframe to opacity and make a fade out effect like this Now our animation is going to look like this and just go to your effect and control panel and add a bevel and alpha effect and play with these settings according to your icons so they basically add a depth in your icons so one thing i noticed the icon sizes doesn't look good in our animation so that's why i decide to make it little tiny icons instead of bigger icons so you also go with small icons instead of bigger icons And that is for today guys if you enjoy this video make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one